You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up six, NASDAQ is up 95, S&P is up 12, gold contract up $33.50, trading 1792 an ounce. You got silver up 56 cents, 23 dollars seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, 80 dollars 48 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year up one tick, trading 131.06. The 30 year up a full point at 159.18. And king dollar, king dollar is down 437 ticks, trading out at 94.07. Euro 115. Yen is out here at 113.34, and the British pound is at 135, 136 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have out here? Well, you get a sideways market. You have no juice in the market. Bottom line, we're up 125 in the spy. That's just drifting lower. That's the real bottom line. My take here is that you're going to continue to drift lower. I expect we're going to get a little bit lower as we come into the close. Nothing, nothing heavy, but. I don't expect we're going to be um, also the spies up 137 right now. I suspect it's going to be back down, uh, back down. Okay, so let me just go look at this baby and see how we're set up right now. Okay, so you got you got a little spike, and we'll see whether it's going to yeah that that could well that could test the high, intraday. That's because uh, you, you got the spike high when the Fed minutes come out. We'll see how that baby shakes out. But my my take is that. Um, you still have a very weak market. You're in a correction, and it's drifting. That's the bottom line. The Qs. The Qs are up two dollars fifty nine cents, trading at three fifty nine uh, seventy five. And what, what's amazing, and this is this is this is amazing. Apple, folks. Okay, Apple is going to be shot uh, ten million phones, and the bottom line is that the uh, stock's only down ninety cents. Uh, you trade sixty million shares. I wouldn't be buying Apple here. You know, my my take is that Apple wants to go lower. But, you know, even when this come across this morning, I said, you know what, the deviance in this is going to be that Apple's not going to sell all the way down. Um, and it didn't. Uh, you know, that being said, uh, bottom line is that once you go back inside 145, that's saying that Apple can get down into this uh, 116 area. So we'll see how this baby shakes out. But I suspect we're building cars for lower price. Gold. Gold contract. You know, we were talking about gold. Gold was a complex ABC structure in the way up. You had 1795 was your price projection. We hit 1797. We'll go over this baby and you'll see how these babies shake out. So what you had is this, is that what, what we had done last Friday is that you got over the high of the B point. You had the volume behind the move. The volume there was 240,000 contracts. You had taken out the B point, which had 160,000 contracts, but yet they totally gave it up on price. When you do that, they turn into complex ABC structures. In this particular case, we had, well, it worked out right, okay? You pull back on Monday with 115,000 contracts. Yesterday, you stopped moving higher again with 160. Today, it just blew everything away. 285,000 contracts. Now, what we have now is this. So, the gold contract now, you know, might take Anyway, if you have the gold reports that we're going to 1839, uh, the top of that consolidation. Bottom line, you're breaking it now, which is a beautiful thing. It's about time we did it. But this is another break with conviction. That's saying that the gold market now is making its way up into the uh, 1922 area, which was the high of June of 2021. We're going to take a look at the silver market out here. What you have with the silver market? That finally caught a bid. That's up 55 cents out here. And silver needs a lot more work. That's, that's the real bottom line. Uh, same setup, though. This is a complex ABC structure up. Silver did the exact same thing. And, you know, silver had got up to the price point of uh, 23.22. Give it up. Gave it up on price. Did 69,000 contracts. You needed more than uh, 35. Bottom line, we have another 67,000 contracts out here. Uh, the ABC structure on, on silver, folks, is 23.95, but I expect we're going to see this get up to that 24.94 area. What you do have with a lot of these gold equities and silver equities, you've got an ABC structure on the way up. We will find out, I expect we're going to have an ABC structure also inside of the XAU as well as the HUI. 
Uh, I won't get these volumes until tonight at 8 o'clock, but you can see we needed volume more than 22 million shares, taking out the B point of the XAU, which is 126.63. Well, yesterday we had 26 million and it was going into 22. We'll get, we get a lot more volume today. So this is an ABC structure on the way up in the XAU. Your B point out here is, uh, like, I'm just going to ballpark, well, 126.63 and... 116, so it's a 10.8 to B, which gets you a 132, and right now you're at 129. We go look at the Gold Bugs Index. We take a look at the Gold Bugs Index. What we have with the Gold Bugs Index is that that's up $8.84. You're trading out here at uh, 253. Volume-wise out here, yesterday we did uh, 17 million. The B point has 17. We're going to get more than that today, so more than likely this is going to be an ABC up also. 246. Well, this is a nice one. You get 36. You get 42. That'll give you uh, 40, about 282. There, 253. Swing point is 281. That's where we're going, man. You're going to the swing point up here. Good old king dollar. Let's go. To, well, actually, let's go look at the note and bond market. So you look at the note and bond market. We take a look at the 10-year first. You're going to see the 10-year has done 2.1 million contracts. Now, that's really good contract volume. That's needed to basically get off these lows. Uh, you have uh, the, I believe what also happened is that, let's see if we get, here it is. Uh, check this out, folks. This is heavy. So primary deals were awarded a record low share of Wednesday's $24 billion in 30-year bond sales for the second straight month. The group of 24 firms was awarded 12.3 of the auction, ellipsing September's 13.1. Now, what this means, folks, again, is this. These are the primary dealers which normally get a bulk of the 30-year bond. But you know what's going on? When you get Treasury Direct, there's plenty of other people that are buying bonds. Notes and bonds, folks, are still out here. They still want higher price, lower yield. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.